In our last few episodes talking about firewalls, what we were discussing is how they work and how they protect your network. We're going to get a little bit more advanced now and cover off some interesting concepts. The first is called the port forward. The port forward has been used to basically expose services to the internet. And a great example of that would be, you know, port 80 website is attached directly to the server. The problem with doing things like that way is that this server is inevitably part of this network here. So if the bad guys take over this server, it's quite possible they can take over your entire network. Not a great scenario. There are a couple of ways that you can create a situation where you've exposed services, but you're doing it a lot more safely. So the first is something called the demilitarized zone. The DMZ is a protected part of the network that exposes a server, but unless you write a specific firewall rule, nothing gets into the actual network itself. It's frequently used in e-commerce solutions where you have what's called a front-end web server to a back-end database server over here. But there's other things that you can do with that particular proxy server that's sitting out there in the DMZ, is you could actually, instead of exposing port 80, you could expose port 80 on this server here, and then connect that with a firewall rule back to the real server here, and you pass the traffic through. Why would you want to do that? Well, what it does is it gives another layer of defense. If the bad guys take out this server here, they may not be able to get over to this server, especially if the credentials are different and you've got a level of security between those two connections. So that's a really great way to deal with this particular problem. Another situation that we see quite often is uh, VPN. And VPN can be utilized in a whole bunch of different ways. In a lot of ways, VPN drops a person from the internet right into this network here. But there's also a way that you can use VPN to get into this server here as sort of a, going to say, an encrypted tunnel. So if you need to manage your network or something like that, what you may want to do is have your remote desktop protocol or your VNC on this machine here, but you've now got an encrypted tunnel and that's the only way to get to it. Okay? From there, you can now manage the network by going through this demilitarized zone. It's a great idea to try and protect that because what you don't want to have is a scenario where you've got VNC or RDP port forwarded directly onto this server here. That's a really bad idea because the bad guys are going to get in. Another alternative to this scenario is to use something like TeamViewer or LogMeIn because it doesn't require any of this complicated network architecture. It's simple to use. So that's another alternative. Thank you for joining us for Firewalls Part 3. Please subscribe to our channel here, or here, or over there.